Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, I have another unboxing of Treasure's Welcoming Collection. Um, I'm a clown for this because, like I said before, I'm not gonna collect like my top fives K Town for You POVs, but I couldn't resist, so I had to get three more copies of this season's greetings and i feel like it's more expensive if i bought this set from a reseller rather than if i buy it straight from k-town because you know i can just resell this um welcoming collection and keep the pobs that is why i got three more although i think i'm gonna just gonna give the these for, um, to my friends and cousins since they are also a fan of treasure so we'll see And Treasure, like for this season's greetings, they also had like four different versions of the postcards where they have the message for their fans at the back of each version, but it's all the same message for each version, just a different um, postcard. And I also wanted to collect that, so it's a win-win situation for me, honestly. So first I got this version. And the vibe of this version is pretty much like what they were for their casual um, concept for their first step series so i'm not really a fan of that um i really like their concept like like the first um postcard that i pulled i like that concept because that one's kind of new in a way and yeah so for the second um welcoming collection i got the same one so it kind of sucks but um i know it's so hard to trade for so i probably won't be trading that for now probably just gonna look for it in yokio but we'll see. And then the third one, I got a different version. This is also one of my favorite version. So I'm glad that I pulled this. Um, um, since I'm missing one, I'm contented with what I have for now. Um, I'm not gonna sell the other one as well. Probably I'll do that later. So these are just the four that I got. I'm so glad that I got the two top, like two of my favorite versions, like the top two on top. Um, my least favorite one is the one at the bottom and the other versions that I don't have. Um, so yeah. And up next, we have the Kingdom for a pure benefit. And y'all, I, I I feel like I'm very lucky with Junkyu because I always pull him when it comes to POV. So here we go. We have a Junkyu. And I'm so glad that I did because Junkyu is probably going to be a pain to look for and to trade for um, since he is just so rare. Super rare. So I'm glad that I pulled him. And then I also got a dupe for Yebam, so I'm gonna trade that. I really just wanna get Asahi and Yoshi. Like, if I can, once I find them, um, I don't think I'm just, I'm really going to, like, trade for Joyong if he's hard to find, since those are hard. And then last, I, lastly, I got Jonghan, which is also one of my top five, so that's perfect. And yeah, those are just my key tone for you pulls. And then, up next, I'm just gonna be storing some of the PC that I got from a trade, and these are just, um, I just got a Young for my chapter 3, the postcard, and then I have some PC for the treasure effect, and then after that I'm gonna be storing my pulls from my welcoming collection and the video kit. Um, I wanted to, I've been debating if I wanted to include this, um, video with my, um, future storing videos, but since um, my future storing videos will probably consist of the, my Neokio haul and my other um, PC, I feel like it, w it will take super long, so I decided to just separate this video from my future ones. And also, I probably will, like my next storing video will probably consist of all of my missing PC, since I do want to just post one entire video or video of my missing photo cards, just so I can have a um, completed video storing video and completed collection um since i don't want to hassle myself of recording one at a time <laughs> so yeah also for my future videos i do plan on like i said i don't plan on collecting all members for their next comebacks and even for their Japanese album, I probably won't be collecting everyone, but we'll see since I will buy their album from Neokio instead of getting it like individually from um, a site that has a pre-order, if you get what I mean. Since before I used to order my Japanese albums from CD Japan and it cost so much, like the shipping fee was crazy and the albums were expensive. But if you buy from Neokio, it's like much cheaper. Plus I can like have an option of 
picking who I want. So, um, in the future, I'll probably um, rearrange my binder um, into um, se- like I'll probably separate like my other nine members from my top five, just so it's easy to distinguish and at the same time remind myself that I won't be collecting everyone anymore, since I feel like I would be I won't be able to resist if I. Um, had the urge of collecting everyone and I don't want that because um, I want to save up money so yeah <laughs> oh and also from for the previous um, pages um, the way I'm gonna arrange those is basically since Junkyo was in the middle I'm gonna put Yoshi beside him like on the left and Asahi said on the right and there's just the group pictures in the middle and then the next page um, there's just Jonghan on top and bottom and then on the side of the group picture is gonna be Dooyoung so that's how I plan on arranging that. Um, if I can't get Dooyeon, then I'll probably just put Yadam or Jongwoo or, or whoever I um, have left from training for Asahi and Yoshi. And yeah, and then basically I'm just gonna store my other inclusions for this welcome- welcoming collection. And you guys, these Polaroids are like tight fit. So <laughs> like I look like I'm struggling because I am struggling. Like these are so hard to put, but um, they're okay, just tight fit. but. It looks okay and i really like how it looks because they are back to back and it's just very pretty like there's no blank blank spot so it's so nice i love anything polaroid team photo from photo card to inclusions like i'm down like i'll buy anything that is polaroid team just they're so pretty and then for the id um photo card i don't know like i i don't know if i like how it looks or if i want to cut it but if i cut it i feel like i'm gonna mess it up so i don't know I'll probably keep it like this for now since I don't want to mess it up, but I do want to cut it individually, so yeah. And then I'm also storing my Kino, um, I don't know what it's called, this, like postcards, um, calendars. I'm also storing this, um, although I'm storing this by age because when I open the Kino set, um, it's not by age. I feel like it's by concept, but I really don't like it by concept. So even though their concept is not the same, I'd rather put them by age and I really like how it looks like. And then for my for my previous um starting video, I couldn't I forgot about this group um Kino um postcard I guess so I just decided to um put it with the group picture of this video kit and I really like how it looks like um for the for treasures um future Kino so I'll probably just put the group with that set again and then I'm also storing the stickers since um. I probably won't be using that because I feel like it's a waste and I don't really like like I, I don't have anywhere to put it so I'll just place those in my binder for now and then I also am just placing the postcards in here although I don't have a proper sleeve for that just place it like that and that is pretty much everything that I have for now just gonna do a quick flip through and that is it for my video thank you guys so much for watching and see you in my next one which is probably gonna be my Neokia haul or my rosé album unboxing. 